Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. Today we have new shoes to review. These are BMW MMS Court Guard. Color is Puma White over Puma White. And there's a number that's MSRP is $80 US. Serial number. And Alright, well, let's go ahead and open up the package. So they are very white. And you can see blue um, leather right here. Stitching. There's some glue residue around here. That's interesting. There's like a couple of um, the glue marks that looks like. There's a little stitching right here. That's just hanging. We'll have to trim it with scissors or something. Overall, it looks pretty good, except that little glue residue right here. Let's see if I can get it off. Huh, looks like it's rubbing off. Cool. That glue is coming off. I'm just using my, my thumb to, to, <laughs> to clean it off. It's like pushing it into the leather a little bit. I'll um I'll get like le I'll get leather cleaner later and actually clean it up. But at least it's coming off, so we know it's not permanent. Here's the the right shoe. Sticker is sticking to this. Normally, the sticker is somewhere around here. Look at that. I'll peel it off later. But I got some. When we purchased the shoes, the cashier at the counter um, checked the sizes to make sure um, they were both the correct sizes and the model number. So she pulled this out and then she put this back in after she checked the sizes. There's a size. And you can kind of see the stitching in there isn't that great, but. Let's see if this sole comes out. Yeah, it comes out. notches right here. Here's the inside of the shoe. So these are brand new. You can see interesting like little marks in there. And I guess that's just from manufacturing. But I went to I went to a Puma store. Um, in Orlando, Florida, and I picked these up. And I just basically grabbed a size 11. I didn't, I didn't want to pick and choose um, a perfect shoe out of all the boxes. So I just grabbed one so we, you guys can get like a actual idea of what it will look like um, if you ordered randomly from their website. The left shoe. It's the left shoe. It has like some random marks on it. So 
some stitchings hanging out right there. I'll have to get scissors and trim it. All the stitching looks pretty good. It's very evenly spaced and everything. It's just some some of the the end of it where it's kind of hanging out. They didn't trim it close at all. That's what the bottom looks like. Looks like the blue stitching there is a little off. Uh, this is just nitpicking really close. Um, if you looked at the, the overall and if you wear it on your feet, nobody's going to notice these little imperfections. I'm just being a little more critical. There you have it. pretty good um i think it'll look better once i trim um all the little stitching all right since i have you guys here i'll go ahead and show you how to how i trim it i don't know if it's the best way or the correct way but this is how i do it just get some really sharp sharp scissors and these are curved Look for the stitching that we need to trim right here. So I get pretty close. There you go. So I trim as close as I can with these curved scissors. I don't want to hit the actual leather, but. So that looks a little better. And this side. So I'm kind of curious, why is this hanging out up here? It looks like it's tied together. What I'll do is I'll pull this So I pulled it out from underneath that other thread. It looked like it got stuck. And then now it's a longer thread. Hold this and then, there we go. There. So there's still a thread there that hangs out a little bit. That looks much better. All right, I think that's all the threading that was bad on this shoe. Let's check out the other shoe. There, you can see that piece right there. I think that's it. The rest of the stitching works pretty good. So 
like the glue residue um, didn't line up correctly. I'm trying to get, you can see it if the angle's correct. It's like a little shiny glare of glue that goes directly through here. But overall, I still really like these um, Puma motorsport shoes. They're comfortable, they look good. So even though the quality is not 100% perfect, it's still really um, pretty good quality and they last a long time. Here's the inside of the left shoe. I don't think I pulled this out earlier. There, so this one, the sticker is actually sitting above that. So when I put the sticker back on, on the right shoe that came off, I guess it should be facing this way and somewhere like right there, but probably more centered. But I removed those after, um, after these videos are made, I actually remove it so I can wear them. And here's the inside of the shoe. Some stitching in the inside, but I don't worry about the inside stitching. This one looks more um, uniform inside. Looks, there's no, like, no marks or anything on the inside of this one. And here's the shoelaces. It looks like shoelaces are tied like this. So I believe they just do something like that. Here's the, the tongue of the shoe. All right, well, there you have it. These are the BMW MMS Court Guard. All right. Okay, so we are going to try something new. We're doing something a little different um, this time around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna raffle off a, not raffle, but we're gonna give away, once we hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, um, I'll pick randomly from one of our subscribers and give a $100 um, gift card for Puma.com. So you can pick a pair of shoes you want for absolutely free. All I ask you is just hit the subscribe button, like the video, and comment below. And you can just simply put subscribed on the comment below. And then I'll pick from the random comments on the bottom after we hit 1,000 subscribers. Okay, that concludes our Puma shoe review. But all right, well, thanks for watching and please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below just saying that you, you subscribed. Thanks.